Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Fatal Gaming, aka Fatal Shots, here to bring you another incredible video. So, if you watched my last couple videos, I apologize for being so inactive as of late, but I've been a little under the weather, but I'm back and better than ever, and we have a brand new Supercell game to discuss. It's extremely exciting, and it's called Rush Wars. So, Rush Wars, just like every other Supercell game, is free to play, but offers in-app purchases to help speed up progression. As you just seen, that was that little notice that just popped up. However, we're not going to be doing any gemming today in this video, hopefully sometime soon in the very future. Like I said, this game did just release today and is in closed beta to very few select countries, and I don't happen to be in one of those countries, so I pretty much had to create a fake Canadian iTunes account just so I could download the game. So I'm not able to make purchases yet, but once I figure it out, you'll definitely get a gemming video. Don't worry. So to me, this game is kind of like Clash Royale, Clash of Clans, and Boom Beach all in one. Which is pretty cool because they pretty much just took all the great elements of all their smash hits and combined it into one great game. So I've been noticing in multiple forums, Discord servers, and various social media platforms that everyone is just claiming that this game is just a hybrid cross between Clash of Clans and Boom Beach. However, I personally think that it has a lot of Clash Royale aspects as well, just because Clash of Clans and Boom Beach are actually both base building games, and this game actually doesn't require you to build a base at all. Instead, you are given a gem mine with three towers that you are to place troops to defend it for when it's being attacked. And for offense, you'll notice it shares a lot of similarities to Clash Royale as well. We're given three towers to take out while they're being defended by enemy units. The more towers you take out, the better the reward. Now, like I said, this game hasn't been out for too, too long. As we play it more, I'm sure we'll notice more similarities to each of the game, but I definitely notice a lot to Clash Royale. Like I said, it even shares a very similar arena system. Another thing you'll notice is you're given a helicopter, which is essentially your army camp or your drop ship in Boom Beach. I believe it was called the drop ship. And what that does is it handles your housing space which is the amount of troops you can bring with you into battle. And on the other side, you'll notice you're given a lab, which is essentially the laboratory in the other game, which is what you will use to upgrade your troops to make them stronger in battle or in defense. It's nice because it will give you a little notification letting you know whenever you have available upgrades. Now, in the middle is your headquarters, which is the same thing as your town hall or your HQ in Boom Beach. So, no further explanation really needed in that. Just like every other game, you gotta upgrade your HQ to a certain level before you can upgrade your other buildings and vice versa. Now this is just tutorial gameplay footage because I wanted to let you all experience, especially the people who don't wanna go through the process of doing what they have to to download this game early. So I wanted to let you all experience it right from the start opening up. So it's a pretty straightforward tutorial if you notice, pretty much telling you to use this troop here, drop this troop here, attack this, yada yada yada, so on and so on. But if you notice, they actually did a really good job on the artwork. It truly is stunning, and it's only day one of closed beta, which means we should still expect many changes and improvements to come. If it's anything like Brawl Stars, Brawl Stars underwent so many different character remodels and UI changes in its beta lifetime, which could only mean that the visuals for this game is gonna get even more stunning as time goes on. You may also notice that it shares a similar looting system as Brawl Stars. With that being said, I mean that it gives you boxes that aren't time required to open, but instead they, each box takes 10 stars to open. And the way you get these stars is in attacks, each tower that you take gives you a star. Like I said, each box takes 10 stars, and on top of that, it also takes a key to open each box. Now, on max cooldown, you can hold five keys in your resource inventory. Now, I'm not sure if you can purchase extra keys to help open boxes quicker to speed progression along. But anyways, you get 10 stars, open a box, and you repeat this process for as long as you have keys, and then your keys go on cooldown. After so much time, you get your keys back, and then you can keep going back into battles where you can gain more boxes. You also get a defense box, which is obtained by winning defensive stars. 
which works the same way as the other type of boxes. And lastly, to wrap up this video, the little phone booth in the top right corner is a little tip information box. So if you're ever unsure what to do or you just wanna get a couple tips, you just hit that and it'll give you some info. Well, that's it for me on this video, everyone. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also hit that little bell to stay up to date on all my future uploads. You can also follow me on all socials at FatalGaming06. And I'll see you all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.